to show we just want to bring like three hours and get back on track. So, but today's not Thursday. So um, typically on Thursday, I'll be talking to media. Um, but on short week, this is like, you know, this is like Friday, Saturday. So we're literally picking up to go to Arizona in 50, 50 minutes, uh, hour and 15 minutes. I mean, what we have to do is, is focus in and hone in on, on our mission. And that's to, uh, you know, have gap integrity. That's to be aware of where the quarterback is. That is to, uh, try and get after Kyler with, and not let him escape the pocket. As he's been quite elusive this this uh, season already, um, it's going to be our task to not let you know a quarterback escape for a touchdown as we did previously. For you, Kansas, playing in your home state, how's that? Been there too many times now. Now it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I mean, you know, had you asked me that when I was 18, like just got to the University of California, Berkeley, and first time playing ASU, it meant everything. Um, I remember scoring a touchdown in the, in the ASU's end zone. I think we lost that game, but I remember scoring a touchdown. Um, since then, you know, we've been some good battles, been some good wins, probably been a loss or two. I don't really remember too many losses. Um, but going back home where the fam can watch the game in person and, you know, they, they, they enjoy it, just means more tickets come my way. <laughs> Can't on the show week. Tickets. Yeah, and now, now they know the system. First one's on me. Second one may or may not be on me. Ever since then, probably a no and talk to pops. <laughs> on the short weekend and, and the improvements you guys want to make on defense, do you need a full speed practice or is it just one of those things where you guys, you know, we know what we need to do. We we just got to do it. I mean, would you like to have, a, you know, a full padded practice or, you know, padded practice to get some, some things straightened out? Sure. But it's a short week. We don't have to, you know, we don't have time to worry about what we do or don't have. We've got to be able to get the bodies back. I mean, we just had a game Sunday. Um, some guys, you know, I'm sure are sore today. Um, and then we're going to go be in a full game where it's going to take all 60 minutes to try and get a win uh, come tomorrow. So, you know, whatever it takes. I think that, you know, our organization has handled this the right way and, and sort of taken off the pads, but honed in on the mentality and the mindset to get this job done. Yeah, when one of those quarterbacks does get out and escape, like what are one you of say one of those? How many quarterbacks do they have? I mean, you know, in one of these types of games, Jalen Hurts, whatever, whoever it might be, like, what are usually one or two things that, that go wrong that allow that to happen? Man, I, I don't know if it's one thing, two things that go wrong. I mean, Kyler Murray is one of those, you know, electric quarterbacks that you know can escape the pocket, and whether you like it or not, he's going to, you know, you've seen him lose 10 yards to game five, you know. Um, this is just something you have to be aware of. He's one of those guys that can make you miss because you know you're not you're not able to track him through the offensive linemen. The offensive linemen are well above six feet, and you know um, there's times where you just have to be aware of who you're who you're rushing against. When it comes to speed and the fairway ability, obviously, like you said, that's one of the best. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, like how important is Mario and Pete as far as like, y'all can't get to a first like that? Uh, I mean, I think they do a great job of being the sideline, the sideline linebackers. I mean, this year they look faster than last year. Um, so if anything, you know, it's going to take all, you know, the whole front seven to do what we do and you know, the, the secondary to do what they do. I think this is one of those games that can rely on, on both. Can I come to the point that this give me a walk? Um, we're not far off, but at the same time, we're not where we want to be. So, I mean, I can't give you milestones. I just know that there's a direction that we're heading and we have to be able to get there fast. How does it change since you can't really see the quarterback the same way, rushing on? Like, do you have to try to, try to look different ways? Or I mean, every quarterback has their difficulties, right? You've got Tom Brady, who's 6'5", and, you know, is has the fastest release in the game, you know, and only speeds up when he does get hit. You've got, you know... Marcus Mariota, who is a, a phenomenal scramb scrambler, almost a running back with a throwing arm. Um, and Kyler Murray has proven that he can do both. He can hurt you either, either way. Um, and, and then you've got the added benefit of him having a, you know, a leverage problem for, for my way uh, that you have to be aware of where he is at all times. And you can match up, you know, it's almost like going to – Heavy on pressure. Does that work against you at times where you're better off just kind of hemming him in the pocket to make him make him I'm gonna leave that guys up top. When you talk about pressure, what he's called in as a player, I'm gonna worry about what I can control. Um, that's the hands that I try and put on these offensive linemen and our ability not to get tied up too deep to uh, let a let a gap be escapable.